Welcome to Bob's Compensation Module. Bob's Compensation Module is a module which has been designed to streamline the formal merit process that you as an organization will go through. What we'll do today is we'll spend the next few minutes going through a running cycle. Within our compensation module, we've got three main areas. So the first one is around the setup of a compensation cycle. Now we're not gonna go into this into any detail today, but what we're able to do within this setup is really be able to start to define things such as the different components which take place within the merit cycle, such as base salary, any cash awards or any options. Different eligibility, according to you as a company in terms of what you have defined. A typical use case might be someone within their first six months with the organization is not applicable for a salary increase. So these are the types of rules and eligibility criteria that you can define. You can then start to align budget to our different managers and our planners. And then you can also invite the managers into the system. But where we're going to spend most of today is all around this running cycle. The running cycle will show all of the participants involved within this compensation review. As an admin, I can start to see all of those planners across the organization. But if I jump into ISLA, for example, what we'll be able to see is we'll be able to see all of ISLA's direct reports we can start to see a number of different action points and criteria. So the first thing that I want to call out is the performance rating. Within our talent module and our performance area within this module, you can actually start to define your performance ratings and you can start to pull this through into the compensation event. The reason why this is super important is because what this means is that you as a manager, you don't have to leave your worksheet, go into a different system, go into an Excel spreadsheet. Everything is there for you right at the tips of your fingers, which you can then start to make those educated decisions on. A number of different aspects that I wanted to call out here is around the benchmark ranges, compensation ratios. And what we can now start to do is we can start to make these recommended increases as well. You can either do this on a manual basis or alternatively, you can do a bulk allocation of budget. And if you want to give everyone a 3% salary increase, the system will do this for us. Now, what this really means is that you as a manager, you don't have to go into each individual in worksheet and start to then allocate that, but recommended increase out. You can do this for all of your direct reports. Bonus, again, would work in exactly the same way. And one thing that we can also see as a manager is that you can start to see your buckets or your budget will start to increase or decrease based on the information that you populate here. Coming out of this, and just to show you what a manager would see themselves, Again, we're going to use our login functionality and come in as Campbell. Campbell's going to come into the compensation cycle and immediately Campbell can already see that she has only got visibility to what she's allowed to based on the roles and commissions. The Campbell can come in, see her direct reports and then start to allocate out some of that budget based on the performance ratings, any of our comp ratios and these sorts of aspects. An important thing to note here is that we can start to have alerts and errors be displayed. This is really coming from the setup where we've defined the different guidelines that are in place for our managers and our planners when they're going through this process. So if we take an example here, we can see that Dante is recommended increases above 5%. And this was a guideline that we set that we wanted anyone that was above 5% to receive a warning message. Similar to Evan, we can start to see that the bonus award recommendation is 10%. And this is now over 10%. So that's why this alert has been populated. And what this really allows is it allows the senior managers and HR teams to really start to define you know, those guidelines so that when the manager comes into the worksheet, they are already aware of what the criteria is and what the different aspects containing those compensation reviews are. Now, one last piece as well, which I think is a really nice aspect, is when you click into Dante, we can start to see some historical information about Dante, their compensation history, their work history. We also have an activity log here. Now, the activity log is a really great way to remove the need for any emails back and forth, spreadsheets being sent around. What we can start to do here is that any changes that are made against Dante's worksheet are all captured in this activity log. And another nice aspect is this goals area. So within the talent module in Bob, you can start to define your goals. But if your goals are influencing the performance reviews and influencing any kind of compensation increases, these can be pulled through into a nice visualization for managers so that when they're making those recommendations, they can see how their employees performed against those specific goals as well. Now, that's everything from a running cycle perspective. Just switching back now and to show you what an approved cycle would look like. So we've gone through all of the relevant approval flows and everyone is happy. We now have two main action points to take part in. And the first one is around requesting signature. So within Bob, 
using our eSign template functionality, we can support those compensation letters being sent out to employees all through the system. So what we can do here is we would select the eSign template, which would be the compensation letter, decide what folder it's going to be saved to, and that would then send out to those employees to say, this is your increase, please can you sign and date this as well? And what this could look a little bit like is something like this. Now, this will of course be company tone, company language and company brand, but just to show you the different kind of fields that you can pull through, you can pull through your employee fields, but then also your compensation fields as well that have occurred within this compensation event. So this really removes the need of any mail merges or bulk emails being sent out to individuals regarding their compensation letter. And then the final point, which for me is actually one of the most important aspects of the whole compensation cycle is updating the employee card. So based on the changes and the recommended increases that we've made across the compensation event, once we press update employee card, what this will do is it will add that information to those individuals against their payroll table, and then it's all captured in those reports that are then sent to payroll. What is a really nice aspect about this piece of functionality is that you don't have to do a bulk download and then a re-import into the system simply by selecting this card, update those employees as and when we press this button. That's everything from our compensation module. And if you want to find out more information, please visit www.fibob.com. <laughs>